Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today, we'll look at the top 10 dumbest zoo and park guests caught on camera. Stay until number one. You won't believe what a dumb guest does in a lion's den. Number 10, padding a bison in the USA. There are reasons why zoos and parks have rules, but some people seem to take these rules lightly or completely refuse to follow them. And some of these rule-breaking people have been caught on camera. Take for example this man who petted a bison at Yellowstone National Park in the US. The park has rules against people approaching the wild animals for their safety. This man was lucky that he wasn't injured because of what he did. A 72-year-old woman in July of 2020 wasn't so lucky. Footage from fellow Yellowstone Park campers showed the woman laughing as she approached a bison several times just to touch it and get a photo with it. She starts from the bison's back, then to its head. You can see from the video that the bison slowly becomes stressed. It shakes its head and grunts. Then it eventually loses its temper and charges at the woman. We don't see it in the video, but the bison gored the woman and threw her 10 to 15 feet in the air. Then it attacked her again. When the woman tried to get up, it left when the woman lay still. Fortunately, the mother of the family that took the video was a nurse and helped the woman until park rangers arrived. The old woman was airlifted to a hospital and has recovered from her ordeal. Number nine, waking up a sleeping panda in China. Ah, the panda, the epitome of cute and cuddly. How can anyone resist the urge to cuddle these chubby creatures? This 20 something guy certainly couldn't resist. When he visited the Nanshang Zoo in Jiangxi, China, the young man wanted to impress his female companions. He decided that the best way to do that would be to scale a four foot barrier, sneak through a panda playground, and poke at one of the animals. He must have thought that Mei Ling, a 12 year old 265 pound panda, would be a safe bet since she was sleeping. Look at him waving to his companions, then posing before the panda. Look at a surprised face when he tapped her and Mei Ling woke up and tackled him by the leg. He tried to push her away, but she held on. The two wrestled for several minutes. The guy found out just how heavy a panda can get until he managed to get away almost without his pants on. Panda one, dumb visitor zero. And again, this guy was lucky. A panda named Goo Goo is famous for attacking and biting visitors to stray too near his enclosure. And here's a panda who bit the finger of a visitor who tried to feed it some treats. So yeah, the guy was really lucky, this time at least. Number eight swimming with the polar bears during feeding time in Germany. Next up, we feature a different type of bear. Close enough. Berlin Zoo in Germany is famous for its polar bears. It even welcomed a new polar bear cub in 2019. So imagine the surprise of many visitors and zookeepers when one woman decided to jump into the polar bear enclosure during feeding time. Pictures show her swimming towards a polar bear until the bear reaches out and bites her back. She manages to swim back to the wall of the enclosure. Zoo workers try to rescue her with life preservers and ropes, but she falls back into the water and one polar bear doesn't waste time in attacking the woman again. The polar bear kept her cardigan as a souvenir. Number seven, grabbing a tiger's balls in Thailand. In our video about animals that ate humans, we put tigers at the top of our list of man eaters. So we were really shocked when we discovered this video of a female tourist stroking the body of a tiger from the Tiger Kingdom Zoo in Thailand. It was actually the woman who uploaded the video. Although the tiger was unusually tame, the animal shifts his legs when the woman touches his stomach. Our shock doubled when we saw the photo the tourist added to the video. It shows the woman handling the tiger's balls. Apparently touching the tiger's stomach wasn't enough. She had to explore lower. Netizens lambasted the tourist and criticized her for her actions. The zoo was actually accused in 2019 for heavily sedating the tigers to make them docile so that tourists could take selfies with the animals. Rules allowed tourists to touch the bodies of the tigers, but not the sensitive parts of the animals. These rules now ban people from touching these parts. Really, we echo the question of many people who saw the Facebook posts before these were taken down. Why did she think touching those parts and, and uploading what she did would be a good idea? Number six monkeying around with monkeys in Brazil. A lot of people do weird things when they're drunk. Here's a very good example. This drunk guy thought it would be fun to play with the spider monkeys at the Sorocaba Zoo near Sao Paulo. 
The guy hopped a short fence and swam a river to get closer to the animals. The monkeys were already aggressive from the start, but the guy kept swimming towards the animals, and that's when the monkeys decided enough was enough. This absurd human was not welcome to their shores. One bit his arm while the other got his shoulder. The bites must have swept the drunkenness from the guy because he finally retreated with his arm bleeding a lot. Bystanders and park officials finally helped him escape the pen onto higher ground. It's a good thing that the monkeys didn't follow him into the water, or he would have gotten hurt worse than he did. We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Number 5. Wrestling a grizzly bear in Poland Here's another guy who got into a mess because he got drunk. This bizarre video shows the man standing inside the grizzly bear enclosure in Warsaw Zoo. An old bear called Sabina slowly walks up to him, then charges. The man jumps into the enclosure's moat. He swims along the moat, but the bear follows on the shore. Then it decides to also jump into the water and wrestle the guy. The guy attacks back and tries to drown the bear. Then he pushes Sabina away and quickly escapes. According to news reports, the guy was fined for animal cruelty, disturbing the peace, and for not wearing a mask despite COVID rules. The bear was also generally unharmed, but very stressed according to zoo officials. After the man was rescued, Sabina stayed in the water growling. She also could not eat after the incident. Sabina had been part of a circus before being taken to the zoo, so she was used to being near humans, but she wasn't used to being attacked. Sabina and the other bears were moved to a different location to rest and recuperate after the incident. The guy was lucky that only Sabina was in that part of the enclosure at that time. If the other bears had been there, the guy might not have survived. Number 4. Feeding human food to an otter in the US and a hippo in China. In 2019, the Bayes Mountain Park and Planetarium of Tennessee, USA made an announcement that shocked many of their regular visitors. Otto the otter had died after park guests threw human food into his enclosure that was toxic to the animal's body. Park officials found grapes, which was not part of Otto's diet, in his enclosure, but they were sure to find other human food. This happened despite several signs telling guests not to feed the animals because one, they are properly fed, and two, some human foods are harmful to animals. Meanwhile, this happened again at the Nanchang Zoo in China. A guest was caught on video throwing a handful of popcorn and then the whole plastic bag of popcorn right into the open mouth of a hippo. The guy kept laughing as the hippo swallowed everything given to it. According to news reports, there are nearly a thousand signboards around the zoo warning tourists not to feed the animals or climb into their enclosures. According to UNESCO, every year plastic debris causes the deaths of more than a million seabirds and more than 100,000 marine animals. Nancheng Zoo's vets examined the hippo, and the animal seemed normal so far. Number 3. Kissing a snake in Thailand Why do zoo and park guests love to break the rules? Maybe it's the thrill of doing something bad, or maybe it's just plain stupidity. Take for example this tourist who went to an unnamed animal park near the Phuket Zoo in Thailand. In this short video, we see two men holding a reticulated python and two tourists stroking its body. Then one of the guests tries to kiss the snake. To their horror, the snake wriggles from the handler's hands and latches onto the woman's nose. The video ends with the woman screaming and the handlers panicking. The snake eventually released its victim and the woman was rushed to the hospital. She was also given quite a sum for what she had to go through. But really, would you accept money for the chance to kiss a snake and get bitten by it? Number two getting out of a car in a cheetah safari in the Netherlands. Animals in zoos are enclosed in areas surrounded by high walls, moats, barbed wires, and glass. Meanwhile, safaris and other parks are generally wide open spaces where animals roam free. In other words, humans are actually entering the domain of wild animals. So we ask, why would you leave your vehicle when you know that the animals are roaming free everywhere? That's what the people taking this video are thinking. Look. This French family exited their car to snap pictures of the wild cheetahs. The reason why this video is high on our list is because the family has kids. We're one with the guys taking the video. Oh my god. What are these parents thinking of letting their little children out of the car? At first, the three cheetahs look calm as the family parks their car a few feet away. 
The dad exits the car and begins taking pictures of the cats. The mom and a small child get out of the car too. They eventually get back in their car and drive off, but one of the cheetahs notices them and chases the car as it drives down a dirt path. The video continues with the family again outside their car and on a small hill. But the cheetahs on this grassy area are not just content to lounge on the ground. They circle the family. The older kids run back to the car. The dad walks quickly back to the car. The mom carries the youngest child, stops a moment to stare at the cats, and finally walks back to the vehicle. One of the cheetahs follows closely behind, lunging at the family as they scramble to get back inside their car. A park spokesman told local news that visitors are told in several languages never to leave their vehicles and warned about the dangers of interacting with the wild animals. Number 1. Taunting Lions in the US and Taiwan This lady went viral in 2019 when she trespassed into the lion enclosure at the Bronx Zoo in the US. She's seen doing a little dance before the video ends. Zoo officials said the woman managed to leave the enclosure before the lion reacted, so she got off scot-free. This guy who entered the lion enclosure at the Taipei Zoo in Taiwan wasn't so lucky. The man must have thought he was Daniel from the Bible. He began preaching a religious slogan to the lions with his arms stretched out. The lions must have been so surprised by this madman that they just stared at him. Then the male lion attacked and ripped away the man's jacket. The man stumbled back and sat on a log. The male lion bit his leg, then backed off. Instead of running away like any sensible human would do, the man just sat where he was. So the male struck again, this time biting the man's arm. Shockingly, the man screamed back at the lion. He continued to scream as the lion kept attacking. Then he began preaching to them again. Meanwhile, the zoo's officials were frantically working to rescue the man. They resorted to tranquilizer darts and a fire hose. They managed to hit the male twice, which ran off to its cage. But the female hid under some rocks and then charged towards the man. Officials yelled in horror, but the people holding the hose sent several strong streams of water, which stopped the lioness. Officials negotiated with the man who finally limped towards the exit. Reports later stated that the lions had been fed earlier. Otherwise, the man might not have made it out of the den alive. There you have it, our top 10 dumbest zoo and park guests caught on camera. Do you think these guests were thrill seekers or just plain dumb? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, you might want to check out our video of the five times when people were eaten by animals.